Uh, my name is Michael. I'm a senior at Williams College from New York, and I'm the co-founder of Earth Brands, the next generation sustainable product company. So we we started, Peter, my co-founder and I, uh, we started two years ago with Earth Caps, these eco-friendly um, caps made from recycled plastic bottles and organic cotton. We sort of noticed that there wasn't really a, a headwear company out there that was primarily focused on sustainability and, you know, eco-friendly materials. So, uh, and we're, we're big hat wearers and, and they clearly have long hair. So we, we, we wanted to start a hat company and the mission was simple. We donated $5 for every hat that we sold um, to our environmental partner organizations. And, you know, over time we've developed that more sustainable earth cap made from recycled plastic bottles and so that was a big milestone for us and not many i don't think any other companies are doing that or we're doing that um and more recently we launched earth cups which are these plant-based uh, biodegradable and compostable single-use plastic cups and the idea there was to <clears throat> get rid of solo cups on college campuses across the united states and we know we saw firsthand how much how big of a waste we we're creating on, on weekends and social gatherings um, and throwing out thousands of solo cups week after week and we just couldn't imagine how big of a how much bigger of an issue it is at different colleges you know big 10 schools and, and other larger um, state schools so we developed earth cups which are like i said plant-based cups they look and feel like plastic but they're compostable and they have a 50 percent eco-friendlier production cycle um, and they're they're biodegradable so an overall, a better and more eco-friendly alternative to regular plastic cups. I guess I'll quickly start with the caps. The caps is they're they're all a little bit more a little bit more expensive to produce just because you know um, you're collecting recycled plastic bottles and then weaving them, turning them into um, shards of of little plastic pellets and then turning them into thread. So it obviously is a much longer process um, than just you know, producing cotton hats. And, um, but people are loving it. I mean, all of our consumers love it. They love sort of the feel and the texture of the actual hat, um, but also that they know it's made sustainably in the US and made from um, something that otherwise would have ended up in a landfill. So that's always a great feeling. And the more exciting product, Earth Cups, uh, it, they're 100% plant based, um, specifically corn based. And, um, you know, we didn't engineer or, or invent the material or, or the idea behind it, but um, how it's made is by collecting corn and then, you know, melting it or, or through a process, turning it into a plastic uh, form and then uh, molding it into a cup. So it's, uh, it's been really exciting and, and fun. So over the next five years, uh, we have, we have exciting plans to continue expanding and, and producing more cups and, and, uh, continuing expanding on college campuses, but also selling our products to breweries, stadiums, um, festivals, and uh, um, dozens of other you know locations. Um, one of the biggest exciting plans that we have right now is early next year we'll begin insourcing all of our production for for the cups um, here in the U.S. And so we're currently working on that and and figuring out the details behind that, but. Um, we're excited to finally make them ourselves here in the United States and um, yeah, not, not need to sort of rely on outsourcing anymore. Sorry. Yeah. I, I missed the pricing question. Um, yeah. Currently uh, producing them overseas does affect our costs and, and it, it is actually um, not intuitive, but producing them in the United States will actually be uh, help our costs and, and drive costs down simply because we're avoiding shipping costs, import tariffs, um, and, 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 does, and a number of other reasons. So, you know, I think what we notice, and it's pretty incredible because we talk to dozens of, of, of college students from other schools that are reaching out to us on a daily basis, and, you know, they they love the idea they want to get involved and and so people as long as we can make it accessible to younger students and generations i mean they they understand that this is something that we need to do and move towards and, and these are the products that we need to use um so I, there are a lot of studies out there that show millennials and gen z and whatnot they care more about the environment and sort of the impact that their products that they're purchasing have on the environment 
Um, and, you know, I, and I think that's only just going to be increasing. People care more and more about the environment. It's a natural trend and, and something that we're born with. Um, so, yeah, it's really interesting. People, people love the product. People love the idea and also some other products that are out there. I mean, there, there are thousands now. There's really anything you can think of. There is a less plastic or more eco-friendly alternative. I've toilet paper to toothbrushes to shampoo, you know, soap. There, there's always better alternatives. Um, and it, and really, if we can all just make daily decisions to use those products, reduce plastic waste, then we'll, we'll make a big difference.